Greetings and salutations. It is Thursday, November 27th, and I got a request to talk to you all about followers, so let's talk. So, default follower capacity that you can have active is 20. You can grab as many followers as you like, but you can only have 20 active at a time. Now, when you build, I believe it is the level 3 in. Nope. Is it the level 3 trading post? Nope. Level 3 barracks? Hey, here we go. Okay. So when you get the level 3 barracks, which you get by doing... Uh, let's... Barracks. Okay. When you complete 50 garrison patrol missions. So when you do your missions and they have a little hourglass figure, that means they're a patrol mission. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I literally just woke- I literally, like, literally just got up like an hour ago, so I haven't even- like, tea is still steeping. I haven't even drank my tea yet. Okay, so when you get that, you when you unlock barracks level 3, you will get access to 5 more followers, and that's it. So the most you can have active at a time is 25. Um, and you get followers in various ways. You will start with one. I don't remember who you start with. Hold on, let's see if I can find out. Uh. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Oh god, I'm so bad. Anyway, you start with one. And I, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember which one you start with. It's been a while and I've been crazy busy. And it's different for Alliance and Horde, I should say. Um, and then, uh, you get... A, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You get your first one, and then eventually you'll do a mission that will unlock a second one, and then you just kind of go from there. So a lot of these you will get from quests. Um, some you will find as you quest throughout each zone. Others require achievements. Others require um, money to buy. Um, a lot of the factions will enable you to buy a uh, follower for 5,000 gold. They're kind of expensive. Um, if you pick the smuggler's run when you're in Spires of Iraq for your outpost, every 10 minutes you can pull somebody. He has a chance to sell a follower. I think he's only like 500 gold or 1,000 gold or something. Um, so we're going to go through the ones that you can't obtain through just questing, essentially. So I apologize if I miss any. But Croman as in, Croman the Bar as in Cron Conan the Barbarian, is from an achievement, and I just got him a couple days ago. So you get... Oh, hold up. Okay, it's in Dungeons. Drain our dungeon. Here we go. Come with me if you want to live. And I'm not doing it in the voice, but I'm sure most of you know where that's from. So, how this one works is... Sorry, I'm just getting rid of my tea bag. Okay, so how this one works is... Let's pull up Atlas. And we will go to... I don't want Outland. I don't want Draenor. And I want slicks. Okay. So how this works is you go in at A. Cronin is... Cromin, I'm sorry. Cromin is over here. So here's what you need to do. You actually have to kill them kind of backwards. Um, so what you do is you go in through A. And you clear all the trash. You go up to here. You kill this guy. Then you go and crab, grab Cromin and... I should know this has to be on heroic. You can't grab him on. You can try and talk to him on regular and it or on normal and it doesn't work. So it has to be on heroic. You'll grab him and then you'll run. You can run this way. You can run this way. It's usually better to run this way because then this area is cleared for when you come back. You'll go and kill this guy. Now once you kill this guy, um, Chromin will grab his sword from the forge behind him. And then you go here, you kill this guy. And then you go here and you kill this guy. And he'll do something and he's free, and you click, he has a quest. It's one of those quests where it's an exclamation point, you click on it, you click complete, and then you just immediately click complete quest, you get him as an epic follower. Now there are a couple things you need to know about doing this fight. One person grabs him, everybody can get him afterwards, but one person grabs him, and um, you, the person who grabs him, cannot die. Croman, Croman himself will not die. You can top him up if you need to heal him, but he doesn't actually take damage. Like we didn't, I didn't have to watch his health or anything during the fights. But the person who grabs him cannot die. So I would recommend giving him to either a tank who has perdition, giving him to a pally because they can bubble, 
or giving him to a pr giving him to someone if you have a priest in the group who can cast guardian spirit on them if their health gets really low because if you die chroman does not come back and but nobody can get the achievement um, and the only real time it's a problem is on boss three raw raw is a pain in the ass um, there are balls of rock essentially that will drop down from where the boss is, roll towards the back of the bridge, and then roll back towards the boss from where they, um, on the same side, the bridge is kind of divided into three sections, left, middle, and right. So keep an eye on where they're going, and then as soon as they pass, you can stand there, wait for the next one, and then move out of the way, because they're going to be coming right back for you. That is really the only thing that will kill, that will kind of has a, has a chance to kill you. Um, when we did this, we had a paladin who grabbed him, and I had to stick guardian spirit on him, and he had to bubble. But we did it. So just keep that in mind. If you have a couple ways to save someone, battle rising does not work. It, they need to actually stay alive. So keep that in mind. All right. So that's that one. Nat Pagel. Um, I kind of talked about this when we talked about the level three fishing shack. Um, in once you get, once you fish up a hundred of each type of enormous fish, there are seven. You will go. You will get your. Uh, you will unlock the blueprint. You'll pay the thousand gold to get the blueprint for the level three fishing shack. And then as soon as it's built, the, not the guy who gives the daily, but the guy who sells the supplies will give you a quest. And you have to fish a special kind of fish up, and then you go to Crasser and Wilds, and then you find Nat Pagel where he is in Crasser and Wilds, which is in Pandaria. And then you go to, you go back to Draenor, and you, why is my phone buzzing? What the hell? Okay. And then you go back to, uh, Draenor, and you have to fish up a Lunker, which is like a really crazy big kind of fish in each zone. You don't need a special, you, he gives you a special lure that you have to click, but you don't really need to upgrade your fishing pole at all, like try and get a higher fish. It, it'll just, it'll come eventually. It's, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, and then you go back, you hand that in, and you unlock him as a follower. Now you can use him as an actual follower, which, uh, for missions, which you can see I'm doing, or um, you can keep him in your fishing, um, in your fishing shack, like as a as, as, as he's working there, which I'm going to do once he gets to 100 epic. Um, and uh, it'll allow you to catch Lunkers, which you turn in for coins and uh, reputation with him, so you can work your way up to being his best friend as well. This guy is a little bit tricky to find. Um, what is his name? I'm sorry, I missed it. Liaraj. So you go to Spires of Iraq, and you need to go right about here it's here so what you're gonna do looking for there we go okay so there's a cave here and it'll say Lairaj's cave you want or den and you want to find the other so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to run up the side on the left and you're just gonna have to like jump the cliff until you'll get about two-thirds or three-quarters of the way up and you'll see a cave on your left and then you want to dart in there you'll have to kill a couple guys and you'll eventually find him and you just grab him it's the same thing click on him he'll give you a quest a complete quest and you get him as a follower really straightforward not a hard one to find um there is sometimes some port there but if they're leveling they're pretty low if you're at 100 already so you're fine Fiona's the request those of you who did uh quested through eastern plague lands with Fiona's caravan yes it is that Fiona and she's there with everyone that you grabbed from eastern plague lands which was pretty awesome uh, Bluke is a quest in Gorgrind. So all you do is you go from Bastion Rise and you kind of just have to head left up a cliff um, and just keep in mind you're basically going to be hugging the mountains. So whenever you can go left and up the mountains as you're running through this, do that um, if you're coming from the south. For Horde, there is a flight point right nearby. If you're coming off the flight point, you're going to go straight and right and then you're going to hug that you're going to hug that right wall because you're coming from the opposite side. And then Alliance, I guess if you're coming from deeper, you can do the same thing. Um, and him, you just have to fight him. And then once you get him to like 1% health, he won't die. And he'll say, oh, cool. And then you'll talk to him and then he'll, you'll, ga you'll gain him as a follower. Um, there was one more. And do you think I can remember his name? Where are you? Here we go. Okay, Talon Priest is um, Talon Priest Ishal is from uh, doing the Outcast Arakoa quest chain in Spires of Iraq, and 
when throughout this you're kind of building an effigy of this like great big Arakoa, like the legendary Talok or Talshok or something like that. They're like the the Arakoa to defeat all Arakoa kind of thing. Um, and so once you build the entire effigy, you'll kind of finish that part of the quest chain and it'll show up. It's like the chapter completed. Go back and talk to one of the guys and you'll get him as a follower. And then the only other one that I don't that I have that you get oddly is this guy. This guy's a pain. I wonder, I, I'm hoping they fixed it because it was really dumb. So back to Gorgrind and you're going to go, what the hell? You're going to go from Bastion Rise and you're, or from Horde, just go here. And it's going to be right before Deep Root. You're just going to follow the road and eventually there's going to be a path and he's going to be, <coughs> excuse me, he's going to be red and he's going to show up as red for Alliance and Horde. And, and by red, I mean like the name is or like he's attackable, but he's not actually attackable. And what's going to happen is there's going to be mobs just coming in. It's like a gauntlet almost. And you just have to fight everything off. And then once you're done, you talk to him. He says, oh, hey, thanks. And then you click on him, get the quest, complete quest. You have him as a follower. Um, if he is green, that means someone's recently done it. Go and talk to him and you'll get it. The event when I did when I did it, I had to go back because I had waited for a couple hours and nothing happened. I don't know if it was bugged or if that was just I had bad luck. Um, but I think they may have fixed it because the last time I went he was green I just had to grab it. So just kind of check on him every once in a while if you're flying through the area. Alright, so that is it for the ones that I have. The rest of them, this, I'm just going to kind of quickly go through how you get them. Now, there are going to be ones on here that are not on your, um, <coughs> excuse me, there are going to be ones on here on that I have that you don't actually get from uh, English. You don't actually get from like this. Um, what happens is once you get to a level two and there's a headhunter and you're in and you talk to her and you could say I'm looking for someone to counteract minion swarms like this one here. This guy has cleave. He counteracts minion swarms. Let's say you don't have anyone with minion swarms or you only have one with minion swarms and you want another one. So you say I'm looking for someone who counteracts minion swarms and she'll say okay here are three people. Pick one. Um, I believe they're always level 90 but they can be uncommon rare or epic. So stop messaging me. Um, they can be uncommon, rare, or epic, so I always try and grab the highest rare one, or if they're all the same, grab one who has another great uh, ability as a, or a trait as opposed to an ability. Now, the other thing I will say is um, you can also search by the ability, so if you want someone who to work in your jewel crafting or your, uh, your jewel crafting building or in your tailoring building, that is another way that you can search. Okay, so he is from a raid achievement. Um, I don't fully understand it, but let's find out. We'll go drain our raid. Something about the steel. Okay. Defeat him without killing... Ah, uh, okay. So you, if you don't... If you kill the boss, Flamebender Kagraz, in Blackrock Foundry without killing Aknor Steelbringer on normal or higher, you get Aknor Steelbringer as a follower. Leroy Jenkins... Oh my god, this one is hard. So what happens is... Let's pull up Atlas again because no, I can't move this window. That's a little frustrating. So what happens is, let's go do Upper Black Rock Spire. Oh, what the hell? All right then. Um, it would be Eastern Kingdoms. Nope. Maybe Eastern Kingdoms. What the heck? Okay, they don't have Black Rock Spire on this. That is kind of ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Okay. There's lower block. Here we go. Upper Black Rock Spire. Okay. So you come in at A. You have to fight a bunch of trash. You go to B. You fight the first boss. And then you fight the second boss. And after you fight the second boss, Leroy is dead beside him. And you revive him. And then you have 
seven, you have so many seconds to clear all the trash. You come here, clear all the trash, fight the third boss, and then you dart back here. Clear all the trash and then kill the beast and hope that he, and hope that you either kill the beast before he gets there or um, that you're able to prevent him from dying because he will, if there's fire on the ground, Lua will run in the fire. He's an idiot. But if, assuming that you can get him all, you can get him dead before he comes, you have to pull very quickly. Um, you will get the achievement. I need another E for, no, that's an R. I need another E in Leroy. Okay, so you assist Leroy Jenkins in recovering his devout shoulders and elbow rock box part. You get the title Jenkins, which um, I already have because I have it from the old achievement, but uh, you also will get him as a follower. And he is an epic one. Uh, meatball you get from reaching rank 5 in Brawler's Guild. Millhouse Manostorm is a quest for the children, which you get from the inn. Um, and you have to do it fairly quickly. Um, if you have, if you don't finish it within a couple hours of receiving the quest, he disappears, and you have to wait for him to come back. Uh, apparently, there's a workaround though. Um, if you move the gear into the other building, uh, medium building spot, it can work. Apparently, um, cleric Maloof, you get so for this is an alliance one. You get for reaching revered with the Council of Exarchs, and it costs he costs five thousand gold. You're gonna get one from a reputation vendor, they all cost 5,000 gold. Um, you, I don't know where we get you from. Let's look you up. Apologies for the black screen. Da, 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 da. Dawn Seeker. Here we go. How do we get you? Okay, so... She, you get, f um, she's a P PvP one, so you get her for 5,000 gold plus 5,000 Apexis crystals. Um, so she, you get, you just have to have 5,000 gold and 5,000 Apexis crystals. You get them in either Storm Shield if you're Alliance or Warspear if you're Horde. You, this one you get from having a Lumber Mill. I'm assuming it's on a quest chain or from a daily. Um, this one is from the Steam Wheel Preservation Society, again 5,000 gold. This one is from an achievement mantle, the Talon Kings need to reach Exalted with, um, the, it requires you to finish the entire quest chain, which if you have the Talon Shell Priest guy you'll already have, and you have to get Exalted with the faction. Uh, Vindicator Haloon is from Shatari Defense, which is the Alliance faction that you unlock when you get your trading post to level 2. Uh, Thistle Crow is just on the garrison campaign, you'll eventually get the quest. Well, the Shadow Blade is from a quest in Spires of a Rock. I need to look this up now. Uh, okay, so this one you get if you've built the brewery in Spires. You don't actually get her um, if you've built the Smuggler's Run like I have. Um, this one is if you have the lumber mill at your garrison. This one is from building a Talador. Now I have to look again. This comes from building a specific one of the outposts, and I don't remember what my Talador one is. I chose the Lightning Orb. Ah, okay, hold on, we're going zone wide, I apologize. Okay, Talador. Alright, so if you go Arsenal, you get her. I went Arcane Sanctum, so I got somebody else. Um. Chains of Iron, so Gorgrin. So this is if you build uh, the sparring arena. I built the um, I built the lumber yard. Um, this is another one you get from the sparring arena. This one, friend of the Exarchs. I apologize for all the black screen. I really just want to make this informative. Friend of 
the head sarks. Okay, so this is an alliance only quest. And you get you oh, okay, so you have to pick between Okay, so there's a horde equivalent, I guess. Yeah, there's a horde equivalent, um, and I don't know what it is, I'm sorry, but this is one of the options for them, Friend of the Exarch. So the horde equivalent is... Someone commented that it's like the uh, it's like a Pokemon game. You have to choose between one of the three. Okay, so I don't I don't know what the Horde equivalent is called. I can't seem to find it here on the page, but there is one. You'll have to choose between three. There's guides on there's guides on Wowhead. Just check it out to find the one that's best. This one you get from Frostfire Ridge. Um, I think you just have to go find him. And but let's find out. How do we get you? Oh, you need to free him from two cages in Frostfire. Okay, so there's two cages in Frostfire. One is at Dagger Maw Ravine, and one is at Gromgar. Um, there are if you search Dag on Wowhead, you look up Contract Dag. The first comment tells you exactly, and he is available to Alliance. You free him from the two locations, and he will show up in your garrison later. And then this is the other lady that comes from the Friend of the Exarch. So that, those are the ones that are, like, um, that are, everyone can obtain. The other ones, like I said, you go to uh, your inn and you talk to the headhunter once a week. So every day, every uh, reset, every so every Tuesday, um, assuming you're playing. I don't know if resets are different. I'm assuming they're probably different for everybody else, for other countries and time zones and realms and all of that um but you talk to this headhunter lady and she will eventually show up a show a screen and you pick what you want to combat so if there's an ability you want to be able to def def defend against or if there's a trait so you want someone who's good at fishing you want someone who's a scavenger you want uh which gives you double or triple um the garrison resources from a mission um if you want someone who uh powers up if you're working with Dronai, etc um, that is a good thing to do. So the only other thing I will mention about garrison missions and followers is there is an add-on called Master Plan, I think. Master Plan. Um, there's two that were mentioned in a guide somewhere that my husband and a couple of my friends told me about. Um, Master Plan is great because it organizes your um, missions by what you have the followers for. Um, the other one kind of, you just kind of click a tab and it moves them for you and it's not as fun in my opinion. So uh, this one is just enough to kind of help you out but it doesn't do the work for you. Um, is that a pet? That's a pet. I should get that. Um, but it doesn't, like I said, actually do the work for you. The other one kind of, I don't know, for me it just kind of takes away the fun of like actively figuring out and mixing things together. So anyway, that is it for followers. How long have I been talking? 23 minutes oh we beat yesterday's oh boy okay so that is it for today we are all about the followers today and uh tomorrow i don't know what i'm going to talk about if uh you have a suggestion this came from one of my friends black sword thank you black sword um obviously not his real name but i'm not telling you his real name um so if anybody has any ideas for something that you want to know if you want me to go and do a guide for how to obtain a specific follower if you're having trouble or for a quest or something like that just let me know. I'm here to help. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.